We are back for what could potentially be the final game of the season for us in Season 1. Arrow's down 1-3 in this conference final series against the Finches, and their ace is on the mound. Uh, this is how we're going to line up today. I don't think any changes need to be made, really. If this team can't get it done, no one can. So, let's get in there. Here we go, Golden Field Game 5, Pharaohs at Finches, Finches up in the series 3-1, none of my boys wearing hats, and Wither Skinners, the 22 year old, is bald and looking like an old man out there. I love the young people. Let's hope his performance does not match that old man level, and let's hope that Chris Pruitt can get things going right here. As stated, Lennon Phillips on the mound, the ace who one hit us last game. Let's see if we can hit him better this game. Basically maxed out accuracy, and that's what kills, because he just hits those corners like crazy. Like so. And strike three, out number one. Chris Pruitt down. And Nicole Colombo grounds it to Guillermo Quinn. That's going to be out number two, but a little bit better contact. As in any contact. Quinn Young pops it, and Roland, with his incredible speed, has no problem taking care of that one. So, 1-2-3 inning, and the Finches come up, looking to close out the series. Carter Von Wolf has not had a good playoff so far. Was great in the regular season, possibly our best starting pitcher. But really struggling in the playoffs, 7.2 ERA. And hasn't even pitched many innings because he's been giving up so many runs. And he walks Jacoby Rowland, one of the worst people in the league to walk. Look at that speed on first base. Pickoff unable to get him. And now he steals, of course. Pitch out is not worth it. Now he steals third. And gets there half an hour before the tag comes in. And a second straight walk for Carter Von Wolf. Gonna be honest, I kind of lost the count there as I was focusing on the stealing runner. And that's already... The first run of the game. So with one out, Carter Von Wolf already down a run and has two runners on base. And we've got Steeler on second as well. Oh, that's a bad spot. But... And Mario, perhaps a little sleepy after his starting pitching performance last game, falls asleep at the plate. Ball gets away, but no advancement from the runners. And Philip Reyes makes it out number three. So Carter Von Wolf manages to keep it to one run. Only one hit, but two walks. 
help out the Finches, and Pharaohs have some work to do now. That's going to be a hit. Freddie Burnside getting us off to a better start than the last time we faced Lennon Phillips, and he loses Mojo. Now batting the first base, number 23, Withers Skinner. Well, Skinner goes down on three pitches after getting a little bit too eager. Number 36, Thunder Matthews. And those high strikes just absolutely kill the Pharaohs. They all look like balls up there. It's like shoulder height when you're swinging. Now batting at the second baseman, number 32. Philippa Reyes. Reyes having a good series, honestly, in spite of everything. Well, at least defensively, she's having a good series. Offensively, decent. One one here. And Lennon Phillips gets his third strikeout of the inning. Yeah, I honestly think this is the worst I've ever seen the Pharaohs hitting in this series, and it shows in the amount of games we've won. Uh, trying to mix things up a little bit with the contact swings now, and it definitely feels a little better. The results haven't come yet, but that was a misclick. Still pitching well though, like we haven't given up too many runs, it's just them killing us on the bases mostly. They just have so much speed in their team. There's a drop in Brin, there you go. And another strikeout for Carter. He's looked pretty good, honestly. Aside from a couple early mistakes, but mostly are done by speed on the bases. And my guys in the dugout have no sunglasses on, which is the first time I've ever seen him that way, and it looks weird. Remember Rasmussen, 95 power. Could it go the distance? It cannot. Wow. Okay, that... That is unfortunate. I thought that was going over the wall. Two one here. And Dean fouls it off. It's that one hard, but a little bit farther in the same direction. And that was... Might have been a ball, but... With this guy's accuracy, you can never trust those. You just gotta swing and pray. Alright, feeling a little better rhythm-wise. Even though we just struck out. This Pruitt flies out to center, and that's going to do it for inning number three. Carter Von Wolf still has some work to do against the leadoff man for the Finches. And the 1-2-3 in this lineup has absolutely been killing us. Last game they had six of the seven hits. And there's another one. Now 
Yeah, Jacoby rolling on fire now. There's nothing I do. Uh, nothing I do against him goes well. As he gets an RBI single. Uh, Deep Thunderer was drinking a little bit of whiskey before the game, and now I see the results as he throws to the wrong base. And Colombo steals a run and make that a double play. There's a deep drive to left field at the wall, at the track, jumps and what a terrific catch! Wow, Nicole Colombo steals a home run, throws it to second. Double play, huge, huge stuff from her. And the Pharaohs managed to stay alive here. That would have been 4 0. Ray Burnside makes it a third out. But wow, Carter Von Wolf with a little tip of the cap to Nicole. And the Pharaohs give up one more run, but still alive here. And guess who? Nicole Colombo comes to the plate. She's got Rally Starter active. No big hack at the moment, but we'll try to get it. Very hard to do against someone with this accuracy, though. And not going to happen now, as you need less than two strikes. Fewer than two strikes. Hit hard. Will the pitcher? Yes, he will. London Phillips very aware and gets over in time. Bryn Young here. Oh, swings way inside. And the heater low gets her. Pretty Burnside, not done much this series at all. Let's see if he can do something here. He cannot. Good contact, but straight to the shortstop. And the Pharaohs being one hit again by this Lennon Phillips fella. Only two innings left in the Pharaohs season unless they can get something going. And Young scoops it up, delivers it to first, and Wither Skinner tosses it around the horn. Two seamer on the hands, no swing. Slider low and in. Slider low and away. And it's a 2 2 count. Two seamer gets him to hit it with weak contact. Nicole Colombo makes another catch. Guillermo Quinn here. Also, Carter Von Wolf starting to fade a little bit. We'll see if we can get through this number seven batter. And he cannot, so we're going to have to pull him. Eight and nine coming up here, but we're in no position to play around. We got to get our best guys in there. Uh, we'll go to Magnus. And he gets the strikeout. Yeah, only four hits in four innings for the Finches. Not great. 
but the Pharaohs just absolutely desolate on offense. Just can't get anything going whatsoever. Now batting the first baseman, number 23, Withers Skinner. Skinner pops that into foul territory, and that's an easy out for the Finches. Five more to go. Oh, and hit down the line, but foul. That one not foul, as it is skied to center. But man, in spite of the short walls here, we have yet to hit anything out. In fact, both teams yet to hit a ball out of here. Oh, come on! That was high, umpire. Who is paying you? Magnus Lyons grabs the comebacker, and that's a one pitch out. Top of the lineup comes back in, and they are scary. They are always, always putting runs on the board. Popped up there, Freddie Burnside calls for it. And the leadoff man is put away. It's Kobe Rowland, one of the best players in the league at the moment with these stats on fire. Look at those. It is basically the perfect player at the moment. And I'm surprised that one didn't get sent out of the stadium. I hung a curveball right over the middle of the plate. Break two, and we're one two. That pitch looked amazing, but Kirby thought the same thing and smashed it. Luckily, foul. But we managed to get him out. Lennon Phillips, Pharaoh Killer, three outs away from sending his seven seed to the World Series. But Trevor Rasmussen is not feeling it. A little bit of mojo lost for Lennon, and Trevor Rasmussen leads us off with a single, tying run at the plate. Tying run, still at the plate, wow. Dean Thunder hits it to the deepest part of the stadium. That felt so good off the bat, I thought we were tied. Chris Pruitt. He's got to do it. He can't do it, no one can. Come on. Chris Pruitt. Perhaps in his last set, bad as a pharaoh. Cole Colombo will certainly be around next year if the FO has anything to say about it. She's been fantastic, but Lennon Phillips on fire now. Going for his second complete game against the Pharaohs. And we are down to our last out. Nicole Colombo. The ball's back, it's gone! It is over the stands, past the bullpen. We are tied. Nicole Colombo putting the team on her back. And we have a 2-2 ball game. Bryn Young here. Looking to put a nail in the coffin.
And that's not gonna have the power, but man, at the death, Nicole Colombo, this game, robs a two-run home run and then knocks one out of her own to tie up the ball game. Insane. There's a drive to right. No doubt about it. Tie game. And that is why the FO wants to keep her around. Big time player. Magnus Lyons still in there, looking to keep a zero on the board. Still a lot of work to do here. And strikeout number one will help. But Perez takes ball one looking. Nicole Colombo ranging and catching. And the Rio comes in. And his chopper to second. Makes it an easy out. And we have extra innings again. Man, these two teams just battling so hard all series. So close every game. Oh, Freddie Burnside, 69 power. Where does it land? Off the wall. He's running for second, and he is there with a lead-off double in the seventh inning. And Phillips still on the mound. Strike two, two, two here. Freddie Burnside on second. And Withers Skinner strikes out again. I wish we had the depth to sub some of these guys out, but we just do not. How is that a strike? That one is not over the head and doubled up. Freddy, what are you doing, man? Alright, number six, Raphael Bruiser here. Magnus Lyons feeling a little bit weak. Should be able to take care of a few more, though. And we need him to. Strike three, Magnus Lyons, another 19-year-old, getting it done. Two 19-year-old relievers, by the way, in this bullpen. Well, two just high. to there and Guillermo Quinn's being made a fool of. Yep. That's right. You just got done by a 19 year old. Alright, Magnus needs to come out and we're gonna get Tommy Gunn in there. He's the man, he has to be the man. A bit too much plate on that. Strike three. Pharaohs strike out the side there in the bottom of the seventh. And seven, eight, nine come up for the Pharaohs. Lennon Phillips, the first time we've seen his back in this series. And Ali Montez coming back in after he pitched a couple games ago. Nope. 
All right, two two here to Philippa, and she strikes out. Now back the designated hit, number forty-seven, Trevor Rasmussen. Oh, nice pitch there for Molly. Trevor Rasmussen, the man who got on base earlier and was able to be brought home by Nicole Colombo. And that, oh, just foul. Nice ball to hit, but just a little bit early. That one, oh, looked over the bag, but called foul. That one is hit high and hard to right, but not quite to the wall. McCann makes the catch. Number 46, Dean Thunderer. Dean Thunderer already feeling tense. Oh, good one to hit, but not quite ready for it. That one too. And he strikes out on three pitches. Dorian Ariano being subs out for Harley Dean, a much better hitter, also has big hack. Okay, we managed to avoid the big hack. 2-2 two -two here. And that's a strikeout for Tommy Gunn. But now back to the top of the lineup and danger, danger, danger. Philippa Reyes yet again with a fantastic diving play. She has been stellar in these last few games. And speaking of stellar, here comes Jacoby again. Or Jacoby, as he likes to be called, apparently. Fouled off. And Wither Skinner able to get that and beat out the speedy Jacoby. So we're headed to the ninth inning. We've got a full game of baseball here. Chris and Bryn 0 for 3 on the day with 3 combined strikeouts. But Nicole Colombo, the hero of the day so far. One for three, but that one was the tying home run. And the Finches bring in a substitute catcher. Chris Pruitt. Hits it to Quinn with the basket catch, and maybe that is his last at bat as a Pharaoh. We will see. That one is hit hard. Nicole Colombo hits another bomb. It's only going to be a double this time, but a huge double it is with one out in the top of the ninth. The third base, number eight, Ran Young. Ran Young looking to bring her sister home. Very tempting to run, but pretty risky. Although, this catcher has a Terrible arm. Bryn Young, 76 power, high to right field. Oh man, right on the warning track. And Nicole Colombo is honestly too slow to tag and run that. Bernie Burnside, though, two for three today, double and a single. Intentional walk, come on! Freddie Burnside, absolute danger man, gets intentionally walked to bring up MVP Wither Skinner, who admittedly is having a very tough time at the moment, but still league MVP, so he's got to be feeling slighted. And that gets everyone safe. Man, I really, really wish we had some speed on this team. Oh, gets 
Yes, 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 yes. That is a two-run double, two-run single down the line. Thunder Matthews, Philippa Reyes, absolutely pumped. She's going animal on this home plate. And for the second time in three games, the Pharaohs take an extra innings lead. Philippa Reyes, unfortunately, is going to be the third out of the inning. But the Pharaohs get four. Oh, man. This series is stressful. Four to two here. Pharaohs three outs away from pulling another game back and heading back to Sakura Hills, by the way. Back to our home field. Oh, no. And Tommy Gunn gives a home run away just like that. Hangs the fork ball right over the middle of the plate. And McCann makes no doubt about it. So as I was saying, the Finch is one, out, one run away from tying it. The Pharaohs three outs away from heading back home. Well, we'll be headed home either way, but hopefully with a win under our belts. The fastball gets her strike three and out number one. Aiden Murillo comes up. Slider in there for strike one. First run given up all playoff by... Tommy Gunn, by the way. And he's looking a bit shaky in this inning. And they're looking to steal, okay. Pitch out, but the runner doesn't go. He's gonna go now. No, he's not. Now he goes. The throw! Not in time. Goes again. Third base. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game. High ball game and the winning run on second. Unbelievable here. Tommy Gunn, of all people, gives up the solo home run to the leadoff batter, and then the game gets tied up with the speed on the bases. And that is your season. The Finches take the series over the Pharaohs. The Pharaohs' first playoff loss ever in four seasons, our first failure. And gotta give a ton of credit to the Finches because they just dominated us. Their base running was insane. Their speed, so good. Their pitching was incredible. Nothing to say but a lot of respect for them. Pharaohs, on the other hand, absolutely wasteful from the plate. All things considered, pitching was pretty good. Defense was pretty good, but from the plate, we're just so, so disappointing. Uh, so much hope just shattered in that ninth inning, man. 7 for 33, again, 11 strikeouts. We struck them out 10 times, which is pretty nasty, but 11 strikeouts. Magnus Lyons was fantastic. No hit through three innings. Tommy Gunn we brought in to be the man. Just could not get it done in the ninth inning. First loss of the postseason is the loss that sends us back to our sofas. Three stars of the game. What can we say about Nicole Colombo? She put the team on her back so much this postseason. Seven home runs this postseason. Just so, so good. So there you can see the Finches win the series 
4 to 1. Heroes get through the rushes in sweep fashion, get through our bitter rivals the Equators 4 to 1 in what was a pretty dominant series, but then go up against the Finches, the speedy, contact driven, good pitching Finches, and they just hit our every weakness and killed us. So let's see who their rival is going to be in the World Series, and that is the Cavalry. Finches take game one of the World Series. Finches take game two of the World Series. Finches take game three of the World Series. Cavalry pull one back, okay. And the Finches. Finches with four one-run victories to win the World Series. Your champions, Season 1 Super Mega Baseball 4, the Finches. Next video, uh, we're going to be looking to the off-season. We're going to be re-signing players, bring in some rookies potentially, a little bit of reinforcements, and we will be getting into next season soon. Thanks for watching.